Namaste so tribe spiritual healer back to give you guys a message hi my beautiful Aries my baby bosses my kings and queens I love you guys hope you're all well and safe happy Saturday for you guys um, I was getting a channel song here and I'm not sure if this is Chris Brown or Neo or someone else you guys can let me know who sings this song but I was literally um, channeling this song right before I started recording this video. So it happened all of a sudden. I have written down some messages in my notebook. And then all of a sudden I hear this song. How can I breathe without you here by my side? How will I live when your love brought me to the light? Where will I go when your heart's where I lay my head? If you're not with me... How will I breathe? How can I breathe? Somebody's losing themselves or somebody wants you to feel like you're losing yourself because this person cut you off or they ghosted you or or somebody feels like they're losing themselves because you cut them off because maybe you ghosted this person and somebody ghosted somebody or someone pulls back their energy from someone suddenly without giving this person any warning. So I'm picking up on the energy of somebody that could have ghosted you. This could have been recently, in the past, okay? Somebody ghosted you and didn't give you any explanations, okay? This person um, didn't think about your feelings and how you were going to feel um, when this person just ghosted you or they just cut you off suddenly without any warning. Um, one day to the next, you couldn't get a hold of this person. They could have changed their number. They could have just blocked you. And they stopped answering your calls or they stopped communicating. You know, you guys moved on. Of course, you guys moved on or you're moving on because this person decided to do this. And you could have been asking yourself, like, like what, like what was the problem? Or why did they just take off or ghost you that way? What really happened? Um... And all this information that you wanted to know when this person ghosted you. You could have been asking yourself these questions, Aries. This is for you, my beautiful Aries that watch me, male or female. If you have Aries in your chart, this might resonate. If you have an Aries that you're dealing with in your life, this might resonate. Or it might resonate if you don't have anything of that going on. Okay? This is the way energy works. If you watch my videos, then I'm going to pick up on your energy and the messages might resonate with you regardless of what sign you are. That's just how it works, okay? So, let's keep going. Somebody has unresolved issues when it comes to you, Aries, or unresolved feelings when it comes to you guys, male or female, and this person's in a tough spot. They could be in a tough spot, they could be in a tight situation, or they could have put themselves in a compromising situation, or something happened in their life where they had a major epiphany about you, okay? Out of all people, they had an epiphany about you. When you have nothing to do with this person, you're not around them. But the people that this person is around, the people that this person is dealing with, the people that they surround themselves with, um... They could have been involved in using this person, manipulating this person, keeping this person stuck, um, getting their way with this individual. And these are the people that this person chose over you, or these are the people that were giving this person bad advice when it comes to you. So there's in, in these individuals that this person that feels completely lost without you guys, and this could have been recently or in the past, and this person's feeling like that as we speak right now to this day because they allowed a group of people that they dealt with or that they were involved with. This could be family, friends. I mean, this could be family, friends, coworkers, whoever they were dealing with that was giving them bad advice when it comes to you. They were um, basically manipulating and controlling this person's thoughts, feelings, and emotions when it comes to you. So now, in the current energy, this person is experiencing some sort of awakening, epiphany, transformation in their life, a breaking point in their life. Something happened where this person had some sort of epiphany 
about you, about how they ghosted you, or how they mistreated you, or how they didn't um, give you any explanations on why they were just ghosting you or walking away, or how they allowed a group of people to make them treat you differently and caused you to walk away. This person is now feeling isolated from your life and they are feeling like it's hard for them to breathe, like they need to hear your voice, like they want to talk to you, like they want to explain that they had this major awakening and that now they know what you were talking about when you gave this person some sort of spiritual advice or, you know, you could have gave them spiritual advice or you could have just gave them advice or you could have told them the truth about the people they were dealing with and they didn't want to hear you at the time, they didn't they didn't take heed to whatever you said to them and now they're realizing that you were right. So this person is having a hard time and they wish that they could speak to you. They wish that they could reach out. They wish that everything was different between you guys. Okay, and now I have a message here that um, there's somebody here or there's several people in your energy and they are trying to somehow make a comeback in your life so they want to make a comeback in your life they want to figure out how they can make a comeback into your life so this is basically like a warning to anybody watching this video and you cut certain individuals out of your life because they were toxic or they were trying to enable you into making poor choices or decisions or this individual could have got locked up. Somebody could have got locked up and the divine snatched this person out of your life for a reason, for your protection. So this could be somebody that went to jail or something happened in, in this person's life where like, the divine took this person right out of your energy to protect you. So whether this person ghosted you and just went MIA or this person got locked up, and they're in jail and this person was locked up or they're in jail now. The enemy is using this person to try to come towards you, Aries, and trap you into some sort of manipulation tactics or into some sort of uh, binding contract with this person or to give them a chance in your life or to help this person. I'm telling you right now, choose your battles. Do not and Do not let this person in your life. Do not let them in your home. Do not let this person use your address to be released on parole or somebody needs somebody's address and they're going to ask you and that's not the right move to make. You're going to regret that this decision, Aries. Okay, so they're trying to get this person to, to be paroled to your house or they're trying to get this person to come straight to you and try to get back into your life or get into your good graces or your energy. So this person could be working with the Secret Society. This person could be working with the Agent Smiths. This person could be working with a group of people, like with a lawyer, a crooked lawyer that's connected with your family. So somebody that is outside of your energy, whether this person is in jail, for some of you this person is in jail, or they were in jail, and they got released early, so they have some sort of agenda to come towards you because they signed an a, a oath or a contract with some sort of crooked lawyer and Agent Smith or Secret Society, in order to come out, to get out early, because this person has an agenda. To come towards you, to trap you, to set you up, to harm you, to make you feel isolated, to put you in fear, or to put you back in the past energy, to bring you to some sort of temptation or addiction. I mean, like, this person is out of their mind. If they sign this oath and this contract against you, even if this person isn't locked up right now, but this person has some sort of legal issues... Okay, and uh, the secret society knows everything that goes on in your life, everybody you deal with, and everything that is going on in their life. So they're using this person that has some sort of legal issues, some sort of court issue, or something pending, or they're in jail now. They're going to use this person, <clears throat> basically, to make a deal with them, like, we'll drop your charges... We'll help you out, you won't go to jail, or we'll get you out early, or we'll help you not go to jail, regardless if this person's in jail or not. They were headed to jail, or they were dealing with some legal issues or situations in their life, and they're giving them some sort of offer or major deal or uh, a contract, so that way they can come out and, and bring this agenda, this evil dark agenda into your life, uh, you know, to destroy you, to block you, 
to put you in a dark timeline, to set you up or trap you, whatever they are sent to do. So do not fall for this person. This person has been compromised. And I know you don't want to hear this, Aries. And this is somebody you could have cared for or you wanted to be there for or you had love for this person. But don't do it. And then I heard, everybody plays a fool sometimes. No restriction them to the rules. So yeah, like they're breaking all the rules right now because all this person cares about is money and freedom. Money and not going to jail or money and getting out of jail, something like that. So you got to be very mindful if this person comes towards you and they have some sort of funds or money and you don't know where they got this money from. <clears throat> And or they're trying to entice you with the fact that they got money, so um, you know, so you, they can convince you to let them back in your in their in your life. Or if they come towards you with some sort of love offer, confession, or they want to marry you, and it seems like out of the blue, don't trust it. That's a side message for somebody watching, male or female. And that's all I'm gonna say. All right. So you could be having flashbacks. You could be having flashbacks of past traumatic events. You could be having pla pa uh flashbacks of orchestrated abuse that you endured as a child or growing up or in a relationship. You can be having flashbacks that when you were in a tight situation and you needed love and you needed family support and no one was there to lift you up, they all ganged up on you or you lost someone dear to you at the moment, like at the time you went through some sort of devastating event when you lost somebody near to you or you could be having flashbacks of different things. Everybody's Situation is different. So for some of you guys, it was uh, orchestrated trauma in your life. It was a bad relationship in your life. It was a near-death experience in your life. It was like people ganging up on you or that you could have lost somebody you love. They passed away, something like that. But all these flashbacks are happening. So what is that telling you? It's telling you that there's some unresolved issues that you went through and endured situations and trauma that you still have to heal from, okay? That you're not completely healed from. So all that is telling you is that you got to go back and meditate, do your Reiki healing and uh, meditations, go out in nature, speak to God, release these things, purge it out, write it on paper, cry your tears out if you have to. But it's like you need to purify yourself from that energy in order for new energy to come in so the divine could be letting these feelings and emotions resurface and these flashbacks in order to give you the message that there's still some trauma there, that there's still some unresolved issues there that you need to heal from. So don't ignore the signs that the divine has given to you when you have these flashbacks, okay, my love? So it's just telling you that there's some parts of you that still need healing and that you still need to be careful who you're entertaining or who you, who you have around you because these people are triggers to, to your healing process. And they could be um, trying to set you back emotionally, remind you of things that hurt you, popping up out of nowhere in your reality. People that hurt you all of a sudden popping up in your life is because they want you to relive the past. So block them out of your energy Focus on your healing journey. Focus on good vibes. Focus on a good mindset. Focus on putting your 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 money on investments and manifesting a, a new business for yourself. Work from home. Whoever you are, you're very talented. You're very smart. You're very gifted. You know, you draw people in. People are attracted to your light and your energy wherever you go. You get people's attention. Okay, so you already have that energy that draws people in. You already have that creative gift where you can manifest whatever you put your mind to. Whatever you think about, you can manifest. Okay, so there's something that you love to do or there's something that you're interested in that you can also start some sort of online website, online business, or start some sort of um, online uh, social media presence, speak online, or do something that requires you to work from home. Or that where you're going to be your own boss. See, this is what the divine is telling you. Okay? That you can do it. That you have multi multiple gifts. You are multi-talented. You are a light in darkness. And your energy is just beautiful. People love, vibe, like, people love connecting with you. Or people are very drawn to you. 
So if you're doing something that makes you happy, if you're doing something that you love to do and you're believing in yourself now and you're investing your money into something that's, that you're going to have as your own business, then, then you are going to attract people on the same timeline. You're going to attract people on the same mindset. You're going to attract people with the same high, high vibration and frequency into your life. You will no longer attract low vibrational people that are not doing anything with their lives. As soon as you put yourself in the position of authority, as soon as you uh, boss up and level up and crown yourself the boss of your own life and you invest in a business and you start it, the divine is going to bless it. The ancestors are going to make sure it takes off and people are going to love you and gravitate towards whatever it is that you're being called to do with yourself, all right? In order to manifest your abundance, your success, your legacy, and also to make a decent amount of money to where you can live comfortably, to where you know you can always elevate because it's your own business, so you can always add things to your business, change things to your business to make more people come. You can always um expand a business right and that's the beautifulness of it because say for instance you're working at a job a nine to five but it's not really making you happy and it's only giving you enough money to survive or get the bills paid but you don't have enough to like go on a whole vacation whenever you want maybe it's time for you to start a side business or do something on the side and see how that takes off while you're still working you know start something of your own so that way you have another income okay so think outside the box and something's gonna happen it's gonna work for you you could be th doing this now okay but somebody wants you to lose yourself they want you to forget who you are they want you to forget about your spirituality they want you to let go of your spiritual beliefs or they just want you to fall for whatever lie or or, or manipulation tactic they're using on you in order to get into your life and get into your energy or get into your home in order to destroy you okay so be careful who you're bringing home don't be bringing home stray dogs or you're gonna get fleas okay whoever you are don't be bringing home a stray dog because you're gonna get fleas don't be bringing home somebody that um or bringing them around you your kids or your life even if you don't have kids if they don't got anything good going on in their life if they're just playing victim or they just feel like um i don't know like they're helpless like all they can do is, is ask you for help, but they can't do anything to help themselves. See, those are the type of people you need to be careful for, with. Because those are the type of people that's like a negative to your positive. So their negative energy will dim, um, like dim your positive energy and it'll make you feel stagnant, okay? So if you don't choose yourself, you're going to lose yourself, my love. Your weakness is not your strength, okay? Having flashbacks of the past in a traumatic event orchestrated abuse and, and trauma, all right? It's because these are things that you still need to heal from, all right? So don't keep bottling it in, covering it up, making pretend it's not there. Deal with it. Speak to God about it. Let your tears out about it. Heal. Be willing to forgive them so you can heal yourself. So forgive yourself and move forward and remove the blockages in your energy. You have to deal with these unresolved emotions so you can feel amazing and confident and you can rise up to be your best version of yourself. Just heal. That's all you need to do, my love. Okay, so yeah. Let's get into some cards here. All right, those are the messages that I was channeling for you guys. Remember yesterday's reading? I channeled Uncle Drunko energy. Well, that individual energy is still in your energy field, okay? That person is, like, obsessively uh, thinking about you, whoever you are. This person is in their demons. They're in their dark shadow side. This person's overindulging. They can't stop uh, watching your social media. Like, this person sees you doing better, feeling better, and they don't like it because this person was sent into your life. Like I said before, they were sent into your life to put you on a dark timeline, to bring you back to old habits, or to control you in some sort of way, to make sure that you don't evolve. And, and this person could have been keeping tabs on you. And, um, yeah, because there could be some weird, weird uh, investigation, or there's like a, an investigation, or a, a, a illegal investigation that's been going on when it comes to you, people watching you, keeping tabs on you, recording you in different places, trying to set you up, trying to make up lies on you. This individual could have been a part of that, but they ended up falling for you, whoever you are. They ended up liking you. They ended up 
um, knowing that you were you weren't a bad person, you were a good person or whatever, but you figured them out. This person showed you their true colors, or they did something to alarm you spiritually, and you got rid of them. You gave them the boot, or you kicked them out of your life, or you blocked them. Now this person's like a shark circling around your block or your home, or going to different places where they know that you go. This person knows your schedule for some of you guys. They know your schedule. Wow. Maybe you should get some sort of um, dash cam on your car. Just in case they try to approach you, you record them. Or get like a security camera in front of your home. There's different things you can do. Carry mace when you're out. I don't know. Don't be afraid. But be, just be just be prepared to defend yourself at any moment. What this person is, is like under the impression that they got a shot. This person is under the impression that you're going to accept them when they reach out. That you're going to let them back in your life. But this person is coming to trap you. They're orchestrating some sort of trap for you. So you better not fall for it. They're going to come with a little small offer. And they're going to make it seem like, yeah, I got an offer for you. And I got a lot of money I can give to you, or you can make a lot of money from this deal. Don't do it. This person's coming to set a trap for you. And if you take their money or you sign up for something, it's a trap. So somebody could even be in jail. This is a side message. If somebody's in jail and they're asking someone to come to the prison and bring them some sort of contraband and sneak it in, because they're going to make a lot of money from it, they're going to give you money from it, don't do it. It's a trap. This person is working with the Agent Smiths or your families to set you up. So when you go to this prison to visit them or wherever they are and you bring them the contraband, you get caught. All of a sudden, you just get caught. They already knew that you were coming. This was a trap. Don't fall for it. That's a side message. Not for everybody. That's not for everybody. But somebody is currently either in prison or getting out of prison or about to go to prison or they're working with somebody so they don't stay in prison or go to prison. But whatever it is, you have to put an end to this. You have to put an end to this, or you did put an end to this with the with the death card energy. All right? And you had some sort of major uh, awakening in your life and transformation. Now, this person that's uh, outside of your energy, they feel like they're having some sort of epiphany about you. But this person, this person's having a dark awakening. Which means this person's awakening to their evil karmic ancestors. This person's awakening to the fact that when they plot on people, they always get away with it. Or that when they um, manipulate people, they get their way. And this person is now talking to their evil ancestors. And they're coming back because they feel like they can be more sneaky. They can pretend or their an evil ancestors are helping them this time in order to get you into this relationship or to a cups connection. Wow. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy. You could be dealing with any of these signs. For, there's the Six of Cups. Somebody's having nostalgic thoughts about you. They feel like they're blocked out of your life. How can I live without you if I'm a son? How can I live without you? This is what somebody's saying, okay? How can I live without you, right? You were everything. You gave me everything. And I need that back in my life right now. But it's because they're going through some something over here. And they have to come towards you like this. With all this love, with all this romance, with all this, you know, sappy energy. This person's going to be sappy. But be careful, because they can have a hidden agenda to get you in the Eight of Swords. Put an end to the cycle, okay? You put an end to the cycle, and this person doesn't doesn't want to um, doesn't want to see you happy. This person doesn't want to see you move on with someone else, so they're taking an agenda to work against you. Here goes the World card, the Hangman. You're surrendering. You're letting go. Of the need to control energies and you're going with the flow and you're manifesting a brand new start for yourself and this person knows it okay so be careful with this individual that's all I'm gonna say to you guys and new love is coming into your life whoever you are so don't let this person sabotage anything else for you in your life they did enough damage that's what I heard and you are manifesting new love and a new a blessing and an opportunity so don't let this person block you yeah, because 717 is that you're attracting a new beginnings, my love. New beginnings, new love, new house, new energy, new confidence, new ideas. Yeah, N oh, new doors are opening in your life because you got this person out of your life. So now the blockages are being removed. But now this person is trying to send more negative energy. So you could have had some little obstacles and challenges throughout the month. But don't give up. Don't let that stop you. 
That's just little things that happen. The divine is always going to get you through that. And you're going to level up ahead. You have good karma, my love. And somebody's love spells backfired on them. Yeah, this person thought they were going to get somebody's attention or this love spell was going to bring somebody back or let them in, you or someone else, and it didn't work. Justice jail. I said this person might be in jail or they feel like they're going to jail. Yeah, this person, secret lover. This person had a secret lover on the side and they were just using you or they're trying to manipulate you. Happy home because they want to infiltrate your happy home or destroy your happy home, okay? This person's connected with a group of warlocks with the secret society and crooked cops, okay? They want to take you out on a date. Don't fall for it. Wow, this person's in the group of warlocks. I can't make it up, all right? You could be a mother figure. You could have children. Or this person could be working with an evil mother figure in their life, an aunt, a sister, a mother. That's, that's also helping them do this, moon and secrets, all right? Somebody's ex-wife could be involved or something like that. Something's going on here. So, you guys, this is your warning. This is your message. And new love is coming. New opportunities. Do not let these snakes in your garden. Do not let them near your home or your children or your life. Block them. If they're not doing good things with themselves, if they're not on your level, if they have too much problems and not enough blessings in their life, then they're on the negative side of karma. You cannot deal with them. I'm sorry. You cannot help everybody. You can't save everybody. You have to protect your home, your investments, and your energy. And they're using somebody against you all right so this is your message this is your warning i love you guys till the next time namaste